Hello, welcome back. I have a little bit of a confession to make. Uh, I always wanted to buy Microsoft at, uh, at a good price, at a good stock price, but the price would never go down. So I was waiting and waiting, but uh, the price kept going up and up and up and up with minor corrections in between. Currently, it's probably one of, of the best opportunities to buy Microsoft because the stock price has been going down a little bit. I mean, not massively, but still. And we will examine it a little bit later. But I was reading this article because I, I do enjoy reading different things about the stock market and I'm trying to keep up with the news so that I can bring it to you as well. And I was reading this article, which is insane, about Microsoft uh, heading for the elusive 3 trillion market cap, which is uh, absolutely insane. If you think about it, like there are, there are companies, US companies that are approaching trillion, like 300, 3 trillion uh, dollars in market cap, and not only in the US. But um, this is absolutely insane. And I wanted to take a look at, uh, at Microsoft here, see whether it uh, could potentially be part of my portfolio and uh, whether I could potentially uh, take a look at it closer, closer and make a video that uh, would serve my audience as well here. That's you. <laughs> so uh, the stock has climbed almost 50% since early January 2021 is what I was saying earlier. I mean, you couldn't really get it at a, at a lower price. And uh, the stock is obviously great. And uh, it, the P of it is a little bit over overbloated, a little bit. However, uh, because of uh, Microsoft, Microsoft's growth and the household name, it's definitely worth more in terms of a multiple. So even right now, I think it could potentially be a very, very interesting buy. But we will examine that. The interesting thing, the very, very interesting thing that I wanted to, to show you here is that Microsoft stock has outperformed many of its peers in the technology sector over the past year, including Apple. And the outlook is strong. Look at that. That's absolutely insane here. Uh, Microsoft has basically completely destroyed like Apple here and uh, obviously has been much, much above uh, Nasdaq over here. And um, the other interesting thing is that uh, that I was reading here is that um, uh, December quarterly checks for my Microsoft show incremental strength for Azure. So the, tr there are st transformational cloud deals at the company, which are up more than 50%. And so it looks like um, uh, Microsoft's uh, activity in terms of Azure has been increasing. And as you see here, Microsoft is an exception. Uh, exception to what? The fact that uh, UBS believes that pandemic trends may have pulled forward more demand for software over the last 18 months than most investors think. This could make more moderate spending growth in the coming earnings season, a real shock for some companies and shareholders. However, yeah, as you see here, Microsoft seems to be an exception, an exception because uh, migra migration activity into AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud is not, is not waning, is not, get, is not getting reduced. And um, it looks like uh, this trend uh, for you know, for Microsoft will be continuing, and they will keep making money from uh, cloud operations. And you will see here that the strength in Microsoft comes even as there is some pressure on the wider software se sector. <clears throat> and so, companies like uh, Salesforce and Adobe have been downgraded, but not Microsoft. And so, while these companies def that definitely deserve a visit uh, individually, just to see whether they are worthwhile right now. But um, currently for Microsoft, it looks like uh, things are, are doing well. But let's take a little bit of a look at the charts and financials of the company. Now, this is what I was talking about a little bit earlier. Look at that, like the five year growth over here in terms of its stock price has been absolutely awesome. And uh, there was only one, uh, one drop over here, which I didn't catch. But um, pretty much all, all the way up, it's been going up and up and up and up with very, very minor very many minor corrections over here. Right now, it seems to be a little bit of a, of a larger, a bigger correction. But still, I mean, it's not a massive or anything, but it may be an interesting opportunity buying here at 308 right now, dollars. And you'll see here that it's like for 45% up. So it lost 5% than last year. It's like almost nothing uh, for the drop right now. And uh, the PE is a little bit uh, luxurious. It's like a 34.5 right now, heading to 33. So it's still a little bit expensive and the price to book is also 15. So it's a little bit expensive of a company. Yet, I mean, it is Microsoft and it is a company that uh, is a, a very, very well-known name, a big brand. 
and potentially will uh, sustain some growth, hopefully. Now, you would want to see even more growth over here based on what I'm seeing here, the projected uh, changes are. But we can also take a little bit of a closer look at, the, for example, the income statement. Let's take a look and yeah, this, this is what we we're seeing earlier. It's, a, it's projected to have like a 17 to a 19, 20% growth, which is still pretty, pretty good for a company that has a 2.3 trillion market cap. I mean, these kinds of companies are, are behemoths. I mean, and it's difficult to grow because imagine how much can, how, how far can you go when you're already that big? So a 20% growth rate. I mean, I think it's more than great over here, really. So uh, it's great to see that. And remember, these kinds of co companies make uh, make cash uh, hand over fist because they don't have many expenses. So their margins tend to be awesome, uh, very, very high when, when you compare them to companies that have to spend a lot of money for cost of goods, for example, like a company that makes uh, furniture or a company that makes clothes. So all these companies have uh, many, many more expenses than uh, tech companies of that sort like Microsoft. And uh, the other interesting thing that I wanted to quickly take a look at, uh, which is absolutely awesome, is the cash flow, which uh, I love, as you know. And uh, from 31 billion in 2017, doubled to 60 billion currently. So this is some awesome growth over here. And uh, yes, that, that would imply that um, if, you, if you got the stock over here, you would have expected the stock to double based on its uh, cash flow doubling. And pretty much that's what happened, if not more. Uh, if you did buy it in 2017, I'm pretty sure actually you gain more than 100% of your money as a return on investment. So yeah, that, that follows that follows through. So the other interesting thing is the solvency with Microsoft in terms of debt and bankruptcy risk. I mean, yeah, there's literally no, no risk for the next 20 years or so. But... Uh, it's always worth examining to take a look at uh, the, um, the debt that the company has. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to make this video just to examine Microsoft as a potential entry for, uh, for a portfolio right now. Uh, again, just because there is a little bit of a drop over here. Now, again, this, the drop is very, very small. It's like 5% and it kind of follows the overall market right now. Maybe if, the, if there's a little bit more of a drop, it's gonna give us a better entry point. But even here, I mean, if you project Microsoft to be gaining 20% and continue this kind of gain for the next few years, even if it's like 15%, you would kind of expect to double your money in about five to six years or so, at least. Uh, if you're unlucky, that is, <laughs> probably. <laughs> so, cause, uh, and I'm saying that because uh, market sentiment tends to bring uh, stocks higher than uh, their uh, earned cash flow, right? At least right now, that's how the market operates. Now, I don't know if that's going to change in the future, but uh, currently there is uh, euphoria around. And uh, unless there is a massive crash, uh, I could definitely see Microsoft being in the seven to eight hundreds in, in the next uh, four or five years, uh, for sure. If, if the wave continues, the current wave that we have, the, the bull wave, that's going to happen. Um, I have no doubt about it. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about Microsoft. Are you buying or are you saving money to buy another tech company? And which one is that? Because there are some other opportunities in the tech industry right now, for sure. Thank you for watching and I hope, to, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like because that helps a lot. And I'd love to see you around. So you, if you want, you can subscribe as well. There's a lot of new content. I pretty much make video videos daily. And so there's a lot uh, to wait for. So thank you for watching again. And uh, if you did like this video, in the meantime, you can, uh, before I create another one, you can take a look at this one that I created about Warren Buffett's uh, investments and his current portfolio. Thank you again, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.